Hey, what's up, guys? Indian Sense here. Welcome back to another episode of Ninja Voltage. Today, I'm gonna show you what I think are the top 10 base defenders in the game as of now. Again, the rankings might differ from your perspective and be somewhat different from the Reddit tier list. The ranking is based entirely on my personal usage and other players as well. Combined feedback was used to decide this ranking. Again, my main point of this video is that just because a shinobi has multiple iframes doesn't mean he or she is a good base defender. So now things are cleared, let's jump to the video from rank 10 to 1. At rank number 10, we have Hashirama. He has two 4 stars, both inflict seal and other 4 star inflict slowed movement, which also recovers CP. His ultimate is also one of the best in the game, multi hit and also recovers HP for the whole team as well as himself. Now the best way to use him in fortress would be to give him a lot of defense so that when enemy hits him he loses more than 50% of HP and uses his ultimate as soon as possible. He can defend and kill one support uh, but I hardly think so he can defeat against multiple supports because he ha only has like sealing jutsu and the ultimate going on for him so if he gets stuck with two of the supporters he might be not able to do anything to them. Now as a main. If you mess up or do a mistake when fighting Hashirama, you can get into trouble. But otherwise, uh, if you know what you are doing, there is no problem at all. There can be bear traps and seals around, so be cautious and make your move according to that. At rank number 9, we have Edo Itachi. This guy has also made his spot in defense, along with the attack mission main ranking. His shuriken jutsu can one shot even a high defense shinobi and it's also a decent iframe. His other 3 star has defense debuff and it removes all the buffs on enemy. So in defense if you come up with a lot of buffs like you know attack and the high defense it can be easily removed by his 3 star. His 4 star is a very good iframe and gives like 2 second invincibility and almost 20 to 30 percent resistance against all natures except normal. So if you use the new tools from factory, for example, if you give annihilation resistance and it can go up to like 40% from the tools and 20% from the 20-30% from the 4 star. So you can basically, I mean, Itachi in defense can basically tank a level 1 ultimate, annihilation ultimate and after that he can use his own. Now he can be very annoying for AIs, especially with his multiple iframes and the invincibility thing. He can handle at least one support. He kind of struggles against multiple support but again main characters he doesn't do very good but he can one shot you if you are not careful so be aware of his shurikens and play your attack mission accordingly. At rank number 8 we have Indra so this guy again in the ranking he was in my attack mission ranking as well as support so he's returning in defense as well. So he has like a 4 star which gives seal to the enemy and also a decent iframe. Now his 3 star teleport leaves a paralysis area and gives him speed buff. The other 3 star inflicts paralysis and slowed movement along with recurring CP. Now his ultimate remains for a long time which can easily one shot anyone and you don't see it coming. It's I mean it's very spontaneous. It doesn't look like he is using the ultimate. It's very fast. Now he can handle like one support easily but multiple supports is going to be a problem since he is a blue character low defense but again his low defense can enable him to use his ultimate very soon during the fight because he will lose his HP and he can just use his ultimate as soon as possible. Now again main shinobi he is not that good until unless you get stuck in his combo of seal paralysis and slowed movement but most of the times if you know what you are doing. Uh, he is not gonna be that much of a problem but again if you do a silly mistake or you just get stuck in a beer trap or ceiling something then it's going to be fatal. At rank number 7 we have EMS Sasuke. So he is a nightmare to support units with his high damage and high defense. You can either go with all 4 stars or double iframes plus paralysis jutsu from his rekit 
In defense, I would recommend going with all 4 stars. Now his paralysis 4 star jutsu is a part of his insane combo. His defense debuff 4 star also does decent amount of damage. And both of his new 4 stars inflict dot damage. His old 4 star ignores nature resistance which can be very fatal against Edo Itachi. Now his full room ultimate is definitely better to use in defense. If you have it then use that instead of the new one. Now he can easily handle one support, maybe sometimes two supports. And he can be very annoying for main shinobi and waste a lot of time. He is definitely to be feared when encountered in defense. Now so be careful when dealing with him. At rank number 6 we have Renegan Sasuke. Now his combination of paralysis, defense debuff, evasion down and slowed movement really makes him a good top tier defender in the game. Now he can be very annoying as he keeps going around the room with his Susano Chidori as well as the teleport which inflicts dot damage as well as defense debuff. So as soon as he is summoned by any support or the main shinobi he use, immediately uses his Susano 4 star which is an awesome iframe and inflicts paralysis. Now his defense debuff is like a teleport. He avoids the attack and goes behind the enemy and then he uses the defense debuff. Now the other 3 star is a pulling jutsu which inflicts slowed movement and evasion down. His ultimate is really cool and fast. It also leaves a damaging area. So in case if you are able to iframe it, you will be inflicted with dot damage from the damaging area and kill the shinobis. Now he can handle one or two support maybe, but uh, he can easily handle one support, maybe two sometimes, but not more than two. Now he can be stalling for main shinobi, but defeating him is pretty easy, that not that big a deal. At rank number 5 we have Jubito Rikit. Now this guy is really dangerous in defense, I mean his new 4 star to seeking scorch can one shot anyone and also gives a seal and recovers CP, increases evasion, gives defense debuff and a lot of other buffs. Now you can watch my full review video on him for more details. Also his teleport does high amount of damage, inflicts slowed movement and gives speed boost and a bunch of other stuff. Now the recommended kit for him to be used in defense would be to go with all 4 stars, both the new 4 stars and the old one which increases defense and also does a lot of damage and inflicts dot damage. Now his ultimate is also reliable. I would prefer you to use uh, the new one because it's much more faster than the old one. Now if you encounter him as a main then immediately use your ultimate because if you just get got one shot by the 4 star or got sealed then I don't think you will be able to survive. Now he can take care of multiple supports and defeat them. Since he is a red character, he will lose his HP much faster and it can give him the opportunity to use the ultimate. So coming on to rank number 4, we have 6 path Naruto. Now he is one of the must have defenders in your base. He starts with his pull jutsu which can inflict seal, although it's not guaranteed but he inflicts seal almost like 60-50% of the time. Now his 4 star lava shuriken is very high damaging jutsu which inflicts dot damage as well as leaves a damaging area. Now it's better if you use a Sam 4 star as it is high damaging and knocks down the enemy. Now in defense it's better if you use his old ultimate because of good range and multiple hits. He is not gonna use it more than once so it's better to go with the old ultimate regardless of the cooldown. Now as soon as a main shinobi encounters him he gets ulted. I mean the main shinobi immediately uses the ultimate because he is not supposed to be taken very lightly. So he can handle multiple supports thanks to his good range jutsus. But again he doesn't have an iframe so he can die easily if any of the support or the main shinobi uses the ultimate. So at rank number 3 we have Kabuto. I don't think anyone disagrees with me that he is definitely a support killer. I mean if you put him in a room where the support character will get separated to then the support is done. I mean no matter who it is because Kaburu does like insane amount of damage with his jutsus. He has a medium range paralysis, very high damaging poison puddle and the new snake 4 star. It's an iframe, inflicts slowed movement and high damage. Now he rarely uses his ult but if you have the new one it's better to use that because it can bring him back to life with half of the HP. Now main character almost every time uses their ultimate to kill him but a tiny mistake especially with the traps and seals around the room can be deadly. Now hide a genjutsu trap in his room and it's gonna be a nightmare. Now again if you know how to handle Kabuto 
he is not gonna be that much of a problem for the main shinobi because you know he is a red character and he has very low defense so you can kill him very easily but again he is meant to kill supports so yeah at rank number 2 we have Kankuro the god your support will get one shotted most of the time as soon as Kankuro is summoned now his post star if used from a medium range it's gonna kill 100% even if the support survives, Kangaroo will immediately use his other 4 star which will inflict seal for 15 seconds which gives him enough time to kill again. Now it also gives him complete resistance against all ailments. He can handle more than 1 support shinobis and he is a blue unit so if he loses his HP, he is gonna use his ultimate which is gonna kill the enemies for sure. I mean it's crazy and he is gonna be full with CP and HP after that so. If the main shinobi comes into his room, he will be full with CP as well as HP. Now main character like Itachi V3 can use Yata mirror to counter the first one shot but if your support is in the way then your support might get one shot instead. With a good combination of bear traps and seals, he can definitely tackle a main shinobi as well. Now before we jump to rank number 1, here are some honorary mentions. Now honorary mentions doesn't mean that they are useless, they are just below top 10. If you lack anyone from top 10, then one of these will be your next option. There is no ranking for them, I will not discuss them in detail, just a quick overview. Shishui Uchiha Now he used to be meta defender on revival summon, sadly not anymore. But he is still good. If you don't have Gara version 2, then use Shishui on revival pod in front of final room. He is a time waster for support units, I mean he can literally waste like over a minute. His teleport gives him evasion and speed buff which makes it hard for support shinobis to damage him. But again main shinobi can easily handle him, someone like Itachi V3 with his 3 star which removes all the buffs. Other main shinobis who don't have something to slow him down, Shishui can cause problems to them. Hokage Naruto Rikit now this guy's combo is insane, as I mentioned in my attack mission ranking video, his combo is like very awesome. Now he might not do a ton of damage, but he can sure take care of at least one support sometimes. He has decent iframe, a long range slowed movement jutsu, shadow clone jutsu which helps him to damage shinobi from a distance. His ultimate is also very good, sadly he doesn't stand a chance against main shinobi anymore because the current main shinobis are way more overpowered than Hokage Naruto so they can easily kill him without any problems. Obito Rikit His shuriken has a long range and flex seal for 11 seconds and does good amount of damage when combined with lunge nature tools on him. He faces any support, he uses teleport to waste a lot of time. For example, if he is inflicted with dot damage and he uses teleport the support will run towards him and Obito will use his ultimate which cannot be iframed easily by AIs. Against main shinobi, he can be a little annoying but can be defeated easily. Just make sure you don't let him use his ultimate, in that case you may survive but all the support unit will die. Wandering Ninja Sasuke His rikit is really good for defense, his shurikens do a lot of damage and inflict paralysis, it's better if you have it at max level. Defense debuff jutsu, the old 3 star also helps. Old 4 star almighty push, does a decent amount of damage. His ultimate is fast, the rikit one and we don't see it coming. It's better if you use the rikit ultimate if you have it because it's like more range and multiple hits. He can be defeated easily by main shinobi but he can defeat some of support characters. Tobirama rikit now one of his new 4 star is like Gara version 2 sealing jutsu, instead of seal it paralyzes the enemy. It pulls the enemy towards the jutsu and he can contain 3 or 4 shinobis at once. Now his other 4 star can do decent amount of damage and inflicts confusion to the enemies. One of his old 3 star jutsu gives paralysis but it's not guaranteed. It's better if you use his new ultimate in defense as it does like 10 to 15 hits which is sure to kill the enemy. If a support faces him one on one, they get trapped in his combo and against main shinobi he is not that effective because of his low damage output. So he dies very fast and can be countered very easily against some of the good main shinobis in the game.
So now coming on to rank number one, the support god as well as defense god, it's Kara version 2. I mean he really gives a hard time to the main shinobi as well as support shinobis. He performs best in front of final room on the revival pod. Once he starts his combo and if you're caught into that, you can't get out of it. And you can immediately like after 2 or 3 of his combo, you are gonna die. If your support shinobi gets separated in his room, there is no coming back. He has like crazy crowd control. He can handle all the 4 shinobis at once and he starts his combo with his 3 star which is an iframe and also inflicts darkness and increases defense of allies as well as inflicts dot damage. Then he uses the other 3 star which guarantees seal, decreases evasion, inflicts load movement and then to sum it up he uses 4 star which gives defense debuff and attack debuff to enemies which is really useful against some of the supporters also gives like dot damage. So guys that was a detailed ranking video from my side. I don't expect you to agree with me on every ranking. You are free to have your own opinions. I am not forcing my opinions in the game on you. Now let me know in the comments what you think about this ranking. Make sure to follow on my social medias, discord, links are in description. If you are new to the channel hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I will see you next time. Sayonara. Yeah.